Hickok 45, here I am, and I've got the old Ruger AR-556 multi-purpose rifle, again for a chapter two. Well, first time for, a, actually a range two. Okay, whoops, I forgot, didn't I? We actually changed the nomenclature. It's a range two. So multi-purpose, you know, shot short range, relatively. Now it's gonna shoot a little bit longer, different targets, so we're uh, finding another purpose for it, all right? Now also in the first video too, I had one hang up and, you know, I really need a, a beating, I guess, because I didn't clean this one either. You know, the same deal with the, the BFR recently. Uh, I don't know what's happened, because I always do that, and I didn't with this one, but it looked lubed enough, you know, just looking at the bolt, and I uh, shot it, and when I, anyway, when I took it apart after the first video and cleaned it, uh, I took the bolt out, and the bolt and the cam, uh, uh, what's it called, the cam pin out, and all that. I, like, never got it out. I don't know why, but it was just dirty. Maybe it was uh, test fired more than I thought, or we fired it more than I thought. But it was really hard to even get the cam pin turned to get it out, which I almost have never experienced with an AR bolt. I cleaned it and oiled it up, and she seems fine. So I'm gonna say I was really pushing a limit in part of that video because it was that bolt was dirty inside more so than I realized. All right, not making excuses, just. Uh, just making an excuse for it, <laughs> if it deserves it. So anyway, so far it's been a pretty nice rifle. That was the only hang up we had. And uh, and I like this Romeo 5 pretty well bought. That I'm, uh, and again, it doesn't you know, come with a rifle on the E-Gunner, but uh, let's just shoot a little chapter two. I'm gonna go ahead and, I think the sight's right on, even though it was loose in that video. I tightened it up really tight, got my wrench in my pocket. And if it's still on where it uh, was, and it seems to be, I shouldn't have a lot of trouble. Boy, you really are putting a jinx on yourself when you say things like that, aren't you? All right, let's start on that red plate and try it. Have I ever done that before? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go down and hit that uh, two liter. Uh, well, I knew both of those were off. Okay, now let's hit it. Okay. We'll send her. <laughs> Red plate. Boom. And let's hit these two guys close here. Uh, I think I can get them with one bullet. I guess not. Red plate, back over there. <laughs> wow, shoots forever. Let's put some more right here. <laughs> some more. Okay, down to one shot. She's empty. So that's what happens when you don't miss. You have extra ammo to play with, right? So anyway, yeah, that sights right on. And I'd say, uh, and again, I think I said in the first video, that's what makes an AR fun because they're so they're they're relatively easy to shoot uh, reasonably reasonably well. Have all these qualifiers. Uh, can't hit an ant over there with it necessarily with that sight, but anything that's a reasonable size target at reasonable distances, they are just a, a, a great rifle and fun to shoot. Low recoil. This thing is a soft shooter. And yeah, that bolt feels a lot better. Got her lubed up there. As I've said before, I think I said in the uh, BFR video, we don't like to make any gun look like way better than it is or way worse than it is, you know? So we don't like those aberrations, especially if it's my fault, you know, particularly if it's something I failed to do, I just like to own up to it. And uh, I've learned my lesson. The last two firearms we've we've done, I, I have, uh, at least in the order that we filmed them and shot them and everything, I have failed to just make sure they're really, really clean and lubed perfectly before the video. Because that's one of the things that uh, I'm almost religious about because it just makes sense to do that. Always has, and I've always done that. Uh, so that if there's a problem, you know, we know it's not the lube, 
because it's just, well, if, if it is the lube I use, ballast oil, it's, it's the same that I use on everything, you know, and I use the same process on everything, procedure, so, so to eliminate that variable, okay? So a couple times I haven't done it. Now, that being said, you know, it could turn out that these things uh, people are finding out they're totally unreliable or something as, as we uh, proceed with them and they become more uh, in the hands, you know, of, of shooters and all that kind of thing. I kind of doubt it, you know. So anyway, just wanted to point that out. Pretty nice. I have learned to like a red dot sight. I really, <laughs> I really do on an AR. It's, uh, it's, it's just a wonderful sight, you know. I like metallic sights, but that, that red dot is pretty cool. So anyway, we appreciate you coming over for a little more shooting with this thing. And I'm sorry I didn't miss more and, uh, you know, make the video longer. So I'll just talk for another 20 minutes, okay? I uh, appreciate you supporting the people that support us. And I uh, hope you get a chance to get out and shoot today or soon. Because uh, it's a lot of fun, if you haven't noticed. Life is good.